What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, the entire market was slow today, but AMC ripped right out of the gate. I had mentioned in my past few videos stating that some of these small short sellers are not gonna find a good risk reward for AMC because the range isn't really there. Well, earlier today I tweeted, which if you're not following on my, on my Twitter, link is in the description. I don't really tweet that often. When I do, it is very bullish for the stock. I had said that AMC was showing pure strength. I was looking at the time and sales, the level twos, and also just seeing the five minute blocks, okay, of the candlesticks, just showing nothing but strength all day long. So I'm gonna give you a quick update on exactly where AMC stands. I also wanna talk about some news that was hyped about a sector throughout this entire weekend. I was really excited to play these stocks this morning. It kind of fell a bit of a dud. However, keep this on your radar going forward because when this sector gets hot, it really gets hot. And then I'll give you a couple of updates on a two call options that recently did very well for us and another play running in the EV sector, which has also been really hot. I think this one is very undervalued. So let's get right into it. First off, as you can see, the market was flat today. And something I wanna point out to you is today's volume. Now, earlier in the day, it was running at about 40 to 50% of the average volume. And on days like today, this is when traders and investors Will, will lose money. They get into plays a little bit too early. You're seeing stocks that are coming down to be oversold. They look like they're basing at support, yet they're never really curling because there's no volume behind it. You have some breakouts that are very, very thin that aren't really reaching those next levels because like I said, the volume isn't behind it. So always pay attention to the overall market volume. If it isn't there, it's okay. I took very, very few trades today from what I normally do. And actually it was a few hours I stepped away from my computer. I came back and just took a quick look at it and said, you know what, things haven't changed and I don't wanna get stuck playing the algorithms where you're, it's really just gonna be a losing battle because it's hard to signify where the direction is going. So when you see this happening, it's okay to not take a trade or just walk away for a little bit. Now this was talked about all weekend, legalizing marijuana at a federal level and they're going to be doing it in order to raise some taxes because boy do we know they need some money i was excited because i saw tilray running on friday you looked at aurora cannabis that was running on friday and i was excited to get into the sector because when it runs it runs really hard if you remember where tilray was we'll look at it on from a daily chart this thing got all the way up to 70 bucks and it kind of ran a little bit and it based and then it ran even harder. So I was excited to get some action back in on this. On the daily chart, you could see the volume coming in. And I'm not saying that this is done yet, even though that nothing was passed as of yet and the news kind of fell a little bit flat. As well as a lot of people swing this over the weekend, probably want to take some profit. But when you see this, you know, massive daily volume coming in, it's something I'm going to be paying very close attention to in the future. But today I was excited to get some of this and nothing really happened. I did alert everybody inside the group. If you're interested in getting the daily alerts, please come check it out. They, are, they can be very, very accurate on both the upside and the downside. I said, wait for a rip above $14 to enter long. Always wanna make sure the stock shows you a direction rather than trying to guess it. I said, look at the support ads around the $13 level. And as you can see, this never broke 13 going forward, but this is why I almost broke that $14 level, which really would have sent it um, you know, up a little bit higher going forward. Now we're going to keep this uh, in, you know, in our plays and on our watch list for the next few weeks, because I do expect something to happen as, you know, I think it was over 60% of adults are approving for the federal legalization. And there have, there are some downsides just like anything in life. All right, but there still are some pros to this as well, especially from a financial standpoint going forward. Two plays that really, uh, did well for us today. First one was Dollar Tree. I alerted this November 5th. Talked about 110 calls for 1119. All right, this one was oversold for a little bit, got to a high of 131 today. The other one was Snow. This one had a 440 price target from a tier one analyst. Whenever I see a price upgrade or downgrade, you always want to look at the analyst. All right, you know, companies like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Citibank, JP Morgan. When those analysts come out with price targets, they are weighed much heavier than other analysts. So keep that in the back of your mind. Replay this video and write down those five just for the future reference. I said 380 or 385 calls for 1119. 
from that about that 378 level and as you can see here it reached 394 we're still a few days to go so those printed really well for us the next thing i want to talk about is this one right here ggpi I had, I had alerted this on friday as it came up on our scanners did a little bit of research they're gonna be merging with polestar polestar unlike rivian and even lucid actually have a good amount of vehicles on the road and it is severely undervalued when it comes to their competitors I have done a little bit of uh, further research and some breakdowns on where my price targets where, for this will be, and I will alert everyone in another video, but I didn't wanna make this one too long. Now let's get into AMC, and I wanna highlight what I was mentioning to you earlier when it talks about strength. This is a stock that was showing one direction all day long to the upside. Now recently, and I've said this before, and I'm sure you've seen this with AMC, <clears throat> is it happens to be a bit of a seesaw. It opens up at 42, pulls down to 40, rips back up to 43, pulls back down to 41, kind of stabilizes and does a little bit of action. That provides range. And anytime a trader will see range, they try to pick some of the highs, pick some of the lows to be able to you know, add to their shorts or add to their longs and sell and get out of their positions. And as long as it provides a good range, like AMC did provide that one to $3 range, the traders will continue to play it. Well, I've mentioned in other videos saying that the risk reward on the short side isn't there. And like I said, look at the charts here. It's getting tighter and tighter. Back in the 60s, the short side was, was about a 50% gain down to 30. Even when it got up to 53, it still had good range. But as you can see, this you know channel just getting tighter and tighter and tighter, the risk reward isn't there. And we've also talked about, and I mentioned in the other video, a brokerage that was showing the short sales getting smaller and smaller for AMC. So when you look at a chart like this, whether it's AMC or any other stock, and you see all bullishness blocks moving in one single direction, expect that to continue until it hits that next level of resistance. Now, when you do see these small little one and a half percent coming down this is natural profit taking for people that are just playing this on the intraday side but when we look at this from a different standpoint from where we see our next resistance levels you have a little bit of resistance at the 46 dollar level 50 will be psychological then it's the next level is going to be 5260 to 5265 going forward and as you can see we're making higher lows so if we get above that 46 dollar level that is going to cause a lot of bulls to step into this volume today was a slight bit higher still sitting a little bit below the average going forward if you take a look at the options chain very bullish oh, almost a three to one ratio of calls to put coming forward so like i said this was a bullish sign for amc especially because even after adam aaron announcing that he was going to sell a, a pretty good chunk, chunk of his stock which i completely understand from you know, an individual standpoint on why somebody like himself and has to take care of his family for the future has to think about doing. We understand that as well. Plus, you know, our guidelines, you know, from the board of directors, but it barely did anything to the stock. I mean, it went down maybe 15% versus when we had an offering last time. I mean, we went down, you know, what 60% almost, uh, you know, going through the intraday back from the seventies down to about $37 or even, you know, when there was other news uh, the, I think there was another offering as well. It even pulled the stock down even further. So being able to maintain that shows that the bulls are still in. Now, if you haven't seen the video I made two days, I think it was two days ago, highlighting investors business daily and where AMC stands, go check it out. It is one you are not going to want to miss. So I will continue to update everybody on Polestar or the ticker GGPI as of right now. If you're interested in joining the group, I have a full options playlist. You can take all of my picks, manage your risk reward, and get all of our pre-market plays as well. First link in the description, come check it out. I'll see you in the next one.